Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Zeno or Liam here and I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today. Now that's actually episode number four of Rigs, which stands for reviewing your gaming setups. This is a weekly series that I upload every single Sunday. You submit your gaming setups to me and I give them a rating out of 10 and basically give some constructive criticism based on what your setup looks like, how I think it is, how, what you could do to improve it. And, you know, just the overall logistics of what your setup is. If you would like to submit your setup, make sure to submit videos, pictures, PC specifications, anything like that to reviewingyourgamingsetups at gmail.com. Make sure you send it to that email. There'll be a thing in the description as well. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. I have three uh, submissions this week. One is a video and then I have two picture submissions. So let's go ahead and hop right into this. The first one comes from this man named Cooper. This is a video, the only video that has been uh, submitted this week. So let's go ahead and get into it. Looks like he's got his HD PVR2, a Beats Pill, Beats Pillar glasses case, PS4 controller, blue snowball if I can see it over there, triple monitor setup. Uh, it looks like it's on a monitor mount, which is dope as well. Uh, you get the Logitech C920, and I think that's a PS4 there as well, but I might be wrong. So let's go ahead and play it some more. I like the lighting that you have in the background as well. It's I'm pretty sure that's the same LED light strips that I have. Yeah, really dope lighting. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Ooh, the PC. Oh, that PC is beautiful, man. That PC is gorgeous, let me tell you what. I love the red. So it's like a red and blue type theme or red and white type theme. All the lights, the LED light strips. Oh, that's cool how they're behind your monitor. Mine are behind my, like I have them behind my desk, but not the monitor. Never seen that before. This is sick. The only thing I could see right now is I don't see why you have stickers on your wall. That doesn't really make sense. I'd rather put a poster on the wall. I don't really recommend putting stickers on the wall, but you know, you do you. Looks really dope. The gaming PC looks amazing. I'm pretty sure those are all three of the same BenQ monitors. So that's really dope as well. So you have nice matching monitors. Oh, nice, I, I buy power keyboard i'd suggest maybe getting another one that's like an led like matching uh you know your keyboard and mouse but you know it's up to you hd pvr2 the light stretch behind there yeah dude, there's it's a pretty simplistic setup but it's really dope i really like this setup a lot maybe if you could somehow display your pc your wire management could be cleaned up here a little bit but if you could somehow display your pc like you know put it up high and show it off to like people who walk into your room and stuff, that'd be super sick, that'd, that'd be really cool. Uh, your wire management looks pretty, pretty decent for your setup. Let's see, cause it doesn't look like there's too much down here. Yeah, there's not too many wires, just one or two wires and you can't even see it cause your desk is so big. Pretty short, short and sweet little uh, setup. Let's go back to it. I really like the use of your triple monitor stand. The thing is maybe you could, uh, I don't know. It's up to you. I'd consider maybe raising it up a little bit to cover, you know, this cord, these cores coming out here and, you know, maybe sit it more at, you know, face level. I feel like you'd kind of be looking down a little bit at it, maybe depending on where your chair's at. But I'd suggest maybe lifting it a little bit higher off your desk. You could even have more room under your monitors if you do that as well. So that would be a really dope idea and you'd also cover these cords up as well. So a lot of your stuff is under your desk. Yeah, I definitely suggest putting this like on display get a little like side table and hook it up over there that'd be really dope as well um cord management looks you can't even see his cords under his table so it doesn't really even matter that much yeah like i said three benq monitors all right yeah that's pretty much all of his setup he's it's a pretty short video it's only a minute and a half long so i'm gonna give you an eight out of ten my dude just for the reasonings that i don't see why you don't have why you have stickers on the wall i definitely say get like a little board or something you could put stickers on and stuff like that that'd be really dope but just don't put them on your wall that just kind of is weird maybe raise the monitor mount up a little bit which would be a good idea and then show off your pc a little dude that thing's not like a you don't want to just leave it under the desk where you, it wants to be appreciated you want to show it some love my dude so yeah that's the end of that video let's go ahead and get on to the second one the second setup comes from one of my friends his name is simington and that's what he goes by you know on the internet and stuff oh by the way all these all the information is going to be in the description like about all the people if you want to go check their channels twitters and whatnot out so it looks like you have a really dope one monitor setup up right here um yeah you only have one monitor it's a benq the nice those are the benqs that i use the exact same benq this benq is awesome i love it you're definitely rocking it with the single monitor setup i like that i like single monitor setups to be honest i don't know what it is but it's just pretty nice to have one monitor you know you don't have to worry about you know having a whole you know plethora of monitors 
You got a blue Yeti next to it. Nice. I have the black one. I consider... Yeah, you're fine if you don't need anything in upgrade. I don't think you, you know, worry too much about it. Let's see. Coke can. Uh, definitely get a coaster for that, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't really have drinks at my setup, but it's up to you. Uh, a little thing for your name. That's pretty dope as well. My uh, Astro Mix Amp. Uh, I don't know how you plug it in. Oh, I guess the cord runs behind it. That's pretty dope, actually. Oh, you do have a cup holder. It's just right there. So nice you have a PS4 and PS3. I would recommend maybe not putting them on top of each other like that. I'd recommend getting like a little stand so that it like sits under it and then one sits above the stand so that they're not, not right on each other. I know that's not good for the consoles if they're right on each other, but I don't think it's that big of a deal, but you know, it's fine. And then I like the wire management down here. There's literally only this one wire, which is dope. It looks like the rest is hidden behind your desk, which looks really nice. And I literally, you can only see like this wire and that wire, which is dope. And it looks like it's just a closer up of his setup. I like how it's kind of behind these blinds. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, third picture. Okay, so this is dope. Um, let's see here. So I don't know why you have your laptop and iPad out or like under there. It'd be really dope if you, you know, kind of use this space right here, maybe move that fan over a little bit. I don't know, I don't know how much room you had with it. It looks like, actually, no, it looks like it's already in the corner as much as it can be. Set that uh, laptop up and, and uh, what is it, iPad, I think it is, or a tablet, whatever it is. Set it up on the desk right here, maybe get like a little, you know, stand to hold the iPad on and a little like stand to put the laptop on, that'd be super sick as well. So then you could kind of have like a little tablet station, would be really dope. Uh, your plethora of games it looks like which is really nice. Let's see here I think are they divided ps3 and ps4 games? Yeah, that's super dope I wish I had space for my games, but you know I like your desk how it has this you know shelving area here it can you know fit your games in which is super sick right here Definitely move the textbook just get rid of it. Just move it somewhere else I don't know just somewhere else in your room Maybe put it in this drawer right here or something I don't know and then move your PC forward a little bit. Maybe you could cover these cords out if you just move the PC forward a little bit. Um, would definitely help out your, you know, your set. I don't want to say setup, but it would just definitely help out hiding these cords as much as you can. Which looks really nice. The set of this desk is really sick. I don't know how in the world you managed to get a desk like this, but it's really dope. And then that's just a closer up of, you know, the games and stuff. I like how you have, you know, your cubby cubbies. It's set really nicely. What is this? I do not know. Is that like, I don't know, if that, is that like a Google Home or something like that? And I don't know what in the world that is, but it's kind of, it looks kind of dope. And then there's your PC. Yeah, definitely move your PC forward a little bit, man. It looks like you could cover up that little wire bit there. And then it doesn't look like there's too much behind there. If anything, you could just get a little plank of like, you know, black wood and put it behind it. And yeah, your PC looks super beast. Uh, maybe lift it up a little bit. Don't leave it on the carpet. I'd consider maybe getting a plank of wood and laying it on the uh, carpet so that it's not as, you know, like, so it's not on the carpet. Like, you just don't want to have it laying on the carpet. But other than that, your PC looks super dope. Uh, maybe get some lighting in there if you, if you want to light up your PC a little bit, which would be super sick as well. Uh, that would be definitely dope if you could, like, you know, light up, like, get an R RGB strip in there and you can change it to whatever color you'd want to get. That would be super sick as well. So, yeah, this setup is overall, I really like it. It's really simplistic. It's really dope. Don't hang your headset on your uh, monitors if you can. Try not to. I'd consider getting a headset stand thing, like, you know, like a, like a hook that comes out from, like, your desk and you can put your headset on it. Uh, move the fan over a little bit if you can. If not, it's fine because I know you, it's probably pretty hot in your room when you game and stuff. It is for me too. I just have the ceiling fan going. So yeah, all around, I'm going to give you an 8 out of 10 as well. Pretty solid setup, single monitor setup. I love it a lot. The only thing you could fix is clean this up right here. Just move your PC forward. Your wire management is A and A plus 100% right there. And like I said, maybe move this, your laptop and display your tablet a little bit more right in this area right here. But then again, that might be where you do your schoolwork or, you know, studies and stuff. So maybe you could like push it back a little bit or just get one of them and you can use one of those for your schoolwork and stuff like that, which is super dope. Um, all around, just a nice setup. I really like it. Yeah, move the textbook out of the way. So yeah, the setup is super solid. I like how you got the coaster. Just don't put your stuff on your, your tape on the desk like normal. So yeah, 8 out of 10. Nice setup, dude. Let's get on to the next one. So the next one is coming in from one of my personal friends. His name is Wolverine. He's actually a streamer on Twitch right now. I don't know if he's live or not at the moment, but he did stream today and he streams a lot of H1Z1. I might be playing with him here in the future. 
because I have H1Z1 and it's very fun and I'd like to start streaming it as much as I could too, but I just kind of pressed for time with it. So he's streaming, his Twitch is, oh, I don't remember what his Twitch is off the top of the t my head, it's either wo just W-O-L-V-R-N-E or I'm W-O-L-V-R-N-E. His name is Wolverine without the I where it's supposed to be. So let's go ahead and take a look at his PC specifications. So he's got the MSI Z10 Zero, or Z, Z170A Gaming M7 motherboard. I literally know nothing about motherboards, but you know, if it works for you, it's fine. Intel Core i7, 6700. So you can't overclock it because it's not the 6700K, but 3.4 gigahertz processor. Solid graphics card, definitely perfectly fine for gaming and stuff, obviously. And then you have the Asus, Asus or NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, 6 gigabyte graphics card, awesome. That's a graphics card I have in my PC. Corsair, 16 gigs of RAM, absolutely perfect. I'm pretty sure that's similar to the, I don't know if it's the same RAM or not that I have, but it's perfectly fine. 16 gigs is all you need for gaming, so the 32 gigs is kind of unnecessary for gaming. Uh, looks like all the other stuff is just your SSD of 240 gigs of SSD and then a two terabyte hard drive That's awesome. That's what I have as well except for no SSD and then your power supply 550 watt you're perfectly fine with that. So yeah, your peripherals are monitors Acer monitor BenQ monitor awesome Which for, is good for gaming obviously and then a Technica monitor which I've never heard of C920 USB webcam perfect. That's the webcam that I'm using right now Blue microphone, Snowball, uh, I'd consider maybe upgrading in the future, but for now you're perfectly fine with that audio. Uh, and then Mechanical Gaming Keyboard and Mechanical Gaming, or not Mechanical, <laughs> Gaming Mouse by the same company, which is dope, so that means those will match. Um, let's go ahead and jump in the pictures he's got. So let's zoom in a little bit here. All right, so all around, a pretty interesting setup, the way he's got everything laid out. Not gonna lie, man, your desk looks pretty small for your PC gaming. I'd consider if you could somehow maybe get a bigger desk, but it looks like the, the room you have, it's probably working fine for you. It just probably is the way the picture looks. But it doesn't look like you have a ton of room to move you know, your mouse around and stuff. But you know, it, if you can make it work, it's perfectly fine. Um, I really like how you have the monitor set up though. Like, they're all different monitors. But at first glance, you wouldn't really think that they're different. The only way I can tell is because I'm looking, you know, at the stands and whatnot. But if you, like, had them all hung up on a triple monitor stand, without reading this, they'd probably all look almost exactly the same, which is really dope. And then I like how you have your headset hung up. It's not just lying on the ground or lying around underneath the desk or anything like that. And then it's cool how you have your PC displayed right here. It's kind of blocked by this monitor, but I'm sure once you're sitting down, you can see it all perfectly fine, which is super dope. Maybe if you want to move it out a little bit more so it's not blocked as much by the monitor. And then you have your, uh, what is that called? The microphone arm over your monitor, which is sick. And then here's a different view. Oh yeah, this, can, this picture looks way better. So yeah, so you have your computer right here, which is super sick. I like how you can actually see it from when, like, your, your eye level. So it, it was just the level, the angle of the picture of the last one. So yeah, it looks really nice in this setup. I like how you have the LED light strips behind it as well, on, behind your desk. Which, so it's like a red and blackish theme, which is really sick. I really like that. And then your keyboard's lit up RGB, as well as your mouse. And then your monitor. Oh, that's sick. Your background is sick for your wallpaper, or for your desktop. Yeah, that's super nice. And it looks like your freaking wire management is on point, dude. There's literally not a wire in sight right here, at least. Over here is fine can't really do much about that but right here there's literally no wires to be seen which is awesome and then your gamer subs which is dope because you're sponsored by them as well and then your rgb keyboard which is super sick i'd recommend maybe not leaving it on bright like you know illuminating rainbow maybe set it on red to match or red or orange to match your light strips but that's just personal preference and then the fourth picture is inside your pc your pc looks absolutely gorgeous man i love the red you know light up uh, illumination from it. I'd consider maybe cleaning up the wires inside there if you could, but I don't know how you're gonna do that, but it's just, it's fine. It's honestly perfectly fine as long as you can see, you know, as long as you can see the graphics card and stuff and, you know, everything that's inside of it. So all around, super solid setup, man. I really like this. I'm gonna give you an eight and a half out of 10. This is just a super nice setup. I really like the things that I like the most about this setup is that he has this up there and the wire management down below which is really, really sick. Uh, the, one, the one criticism I have is that it looks kind of a little bit cramped 
it looks kind of like you don't have a lot of room for your mouse and stuff like that. Uh, and then the monitors aren't all the same exact monitors, but you know, it looks perfectly fine. So yeah, your setup is really solid, Wolverine. I really like it. Obviously, you know, I could talk to you about it, about it whenever, but I really like your setup, man. I really appreciate you for submitting, uh, you know, your setup and same to the other two people who submitted it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode of Rigs. It was a pretty short one, but if you would like to submit your setups like for this uh, series for next Sunday, uh, submit it to reviewingyourgamingsetups at gmail.com. And yeah, that's about it for this episode. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below, guys. Subscribe, I'm trying to hit 2K, I'm pretty close to it. I think we're at like 1,915 or something like that right now. So it's really dope. Thank you guys so much for all the support on this series. It's absolutely awesome. It makes me want to make so many of them. So yeah, that's about it. Like I said, leave a, leave a like. And yeah, that's about it. Peace.